No play, Charles, to officially decide a winner, although on that last play they were so backed up it would have taken a miracle and they couldn't get that miracle done. Well, I like how you stayed with it because we both knew that this had to go down to the last play and neither side was going to exhale until that play could... You gotta wake up before next week. The third and final week of the preseason is here. A fourth exhibition game is a thing of the past. It's the Seahawks and the Packers, and it comes your way next. This place first opened way back in 1957. We are inside legendary Lambeau Field here in Green Bay. Today, it's a preseason matchup as it'll be the Seattle Seahawks taking on the Green Bay Packers. 
Brandon Gordon and Charles Davis with you. And now we sit, CD, at week three of the preseason. And this is the one that the coaches probably think is pretty valuable, right? Certainly. This is the dress rehearsal. This is the one where your starters are going to play. So here comes the Packers offense now onto the field. And they will be let out by their rookie quarterback. For every rookie prospect, there are always nerves involved in this moment. Running your team out to start a game. But there's a reason they brought him in. We're willing to make him their starter today. They believe he can overcome those nerves and lead his team to a victory. We saw him do it at the collegiate level and really make himself into a leader and someone you can envision doing the exact same thing here in the NFL. Now problems right out of the gate. We're going to get a delay. Delay of game. Offense. Can't do that. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. Now back to throw. And his first pass here is going to fall incomplete. You know, last week I remember asking you, what would an offensive coordinator be looking for week two of the preseason? Now we're in week three. Defensive coordinator-wise, what's he looking at? For the most part in preseason, you're playing pretty basic stuff, pretty vanilla defenses. You're looking for guys that play with abandon, that just go out and make plays. You kind of let their athletic ability take over in order for you to notice them. They'll look to throw. Throw left side, complete. That's Jones. And they're going to get him down well short of the first as he can only get this to the 30. Five yards, not enough, and it'll be fourth down. The Packers offense here coming back out for their second drive. And on the first drive, three and out. And I know that these are professional athletes, but I would imagine sometimes you, you get the nerves at the beginning of a game still, don't you? Those don't ever go away. And typically, what I've heard from guys and what I remember from playing, if you don't have nerves at the start of a game, it's not going to be a great day for you. You're not really ready to play. So finding a way to harness those nerves and not let them affect you in a negative way, that's what all the guys are looking for. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And it's second down. He'll look to throw. Out to him. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. They need 12 here. It's third down. It's a loss of four. Makes it third down and 12. They'll look to throw here. Setting up the screen here, Aaron Jones. And he'll go down to the ground at the 39, and obviously that's well short of the first. That one good for only six, and it leaves him with a fourth down. And that's a play that's not uncommon on third and long because the offense is just hoping that somehow they can get a guy in space and follow some blockers downfield. Does a pretty nice job there getting a few yards, but he ends up getting stopped before he can get the first down. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. Usually the technical side. Kind of reminds me of the old Atlanta Falcons 2009-2010. That's how they constructed their offensive line. After 1-7-0 on EA Sports. Back for the second quarter in Green Bay. It's the Packers in possession of the football. 
as they've got it with a second and four coming up. They're going to look to throw, rolling to his right. And throws it on the move, but can't connect as that falls incomplete. These offensive starters still out there in the second quarter. You would think the plan's for them to at least play into the third quarter, if not all the way through it. Yeah, it might go by feel. If they have a really good first drive to start the third quarter, they might pull them after that. If not, might leave them out there a little bit longer. And it's a fumble. And it looks like one of the DBs has it. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Well, that's unfortunate because he had a nice run going, but give credit to the defense. They got a hand in the cookie jar there, CD. You have to think about vision, finding a place to get down after you know you've gotten all you can out of a run, and obviously ball security is paramount. Now we get a peek at the captain of this offense heading back out there. And I, I never played quarterback, but I'm thinking as a quarterback, you're a little bit into the game now, second quarter, you're losing, you're not playing well, probably feels like a lot of weight on your shoulders. Certainly does, but it's something that quarterbacks have to be used to because they're always carrying around that weight. So how do they adjust the weight? How do they make it work for them? How do they work against it? That's what we're going to find out going forward. Yeah, they'll be trying to get all that weight off his shoulders here on this drive. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. He has it complete to Christian Watson. The Packers on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. Here it's third and two. They'll set up a throw. Flushed out right. And he's able to get this one up to his 30 before he's out of bounds. Five yards on the scramble, and that's enough to pick up the first. Had not met a quarterback yet that didn't enter the league with a massive chip on his shoulder if he wasn't a first-round pick. They want to show the league that they made a big mistake. Determined to get the first down there, no hesitation at all to tuck it and go. I bet he would have tried to run through their entire defense if it meant reaching that marker. So he'll be stopped here for no gain, and it'll be second down. No gain on the play. Brings up second and ten. After Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. He'll find Jones again, complete. And he'll be upended at the 33 following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. It's third and seven. They'll drop to throw, eluding the pressure right. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Multiple defenders getting home there for a loss of 11. Well, many times when you talk about mobile quarterbacks, you get the sense that they feel like they can get out of any bad situation. They keep moving around and trying to emulate guys like the scrambler or the dodger. Instead, they keep losing yardage and losing yardage and digging themselves a hole that they can't get out of. Now the Packers get set to go. And they will begin with, should we call it, far from ideal starting field position, their own two-yard line. So what's your definition of ideal? The one-yard line on the other side of the field. Yes, exactly right. So yes, your definition is apropos in this case. Back to throw now in his own end zone. That's taken in by Watson. They'll give him four yards there, and it'll be second down. Four yards on the pickup. Second and six. At the six-yard line. He'll drop to throw. And he takes a shot on the release, as this will be incomplete. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. This one swung out here to Jones. And he's going to have a Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. They'll look to throw again. He finds his man complete. That's Reed. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. 
eight yards on the pickup. Again, he'll drop to throw, escaping the pressure right. And they're able to get this one across the 35. A nice job there on the escape and scramble. A first down, a 16-yard gain. Facing second and short, that gives you a chance to go for a bigger play through the air. But I think he said to himself, why not just handle this one? Got all the yards you needed and then some, and made that snap a huge success. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. He'll look to throw. Pressure comes. He's taken down by the Seahawk defense. Sacks a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. He's going to launch this deep for Watson. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. And they've been kept off the scoreboard in this first half, but here toward the end, they're trying to change that in one fell swoop, but that winds up incomplete. A long way to go here on third down for the eighth play of the drive. Looking to throw. He'll buy some time right. And that is incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. I know this offense was expecting to do big things, but it certainly hasn't turned out that way, at least not through the first three drives. They're definitely going to have to put their heads together and start concocting some offense that will move the ball downfield. The Packer offense heading back for one final first half drive. And they'll begin inside their own 10, so field position certainly not in their favor here. Here we go, Shaq! They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Jared Reed muscles his way in for the sack. He's a loss of eight. Brings up second and 18. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thank you very much. Week three of the preseason is here. Everyone wrapping up their exhibition schedule. No games for the league on Labor Day weekend. And then it all begins. The 17-game regular season gets underway on the Thursday after Labor Day with the NFL kickoff game. In our game, expect to see the starters for at least one more drive. Something to look forward to. So here are the Packers now. They get set for their first possession of half number two. And their deficit a little wider than it was at halftime. Does that touchdown a minute ago change the thinking here at all? I think it does, at least a little bit, because now urgency has to start setting in. You can't go out there and go three and out and run the risk of falling behind substantially, but you have to do it without pressing, because pressing, that'll lead you into bigger errors. Uh, with a rookie quarterback out there, you're definitely going to find out how he handles adversity, because this one so far hasn't gone according to plan. He's got to fight through it and show him what he's made of. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Tough series for the passing game. Things just aren't clicking. Hoping they can come through on this play and get this series back on track with a completion for enough yardage for a first down. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. On play action, they'll throw under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Bobby Wagner in there to drop him for a six-yard loss, and that will lead to fourth down. Green Bay's offense ready to go again. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. They'll come out throwing here on first down. This one into the hands of the rookie, Luke Musgrave. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. Ten yards on the pickup. Second down and inches. They'll roll him out right. Caught on the right side by Jones. And 
Matt Jones going to have a Packers first down as he'll get this up past the 35-yard line. Back to throw. Drops it to Jones in the flat. Going to get a break here for an injury. Aaron Jones is in some discomfort down on the field. Boy, you hate to see this before the regular season even begins. And we'll take a break and come back. More preseason action in a moment. Here's a second and five. Back to throw again. He gets that one complete to Wicks. Now it looks like we'll get a timeout, and we will. We've got an injured Packer on the field. Well, injury's never good, especially here in the preseason. Hopefully nothing serious. They'll take a look at him, and we'll step aside for a moment. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. Now we're going to get a timeout here as it looks like there's a Seahawk injured on the play. We have played three quarters. We'll return with more preseason football on EA So the victory here for Seattle, and it was their defense that really paved the way to this victory as they allowed the one touchdown, and that was all she wrote. Almost want to do the defense chant right now, right? Defense with a couple of claps in there, but no one wants to hear that from me. Let's just talk about how they got it done, though. When you take care of every aspect of the game, shut down the run, control... Some of you guys are going to be turning in your playbooks tomorrow. <laughs> 